In this video, we connect the core sensor to your Garmin device so that you can see real-time core body temperature data and record it to your FIT file. The first step is to ensure that your core sensor is fully charged. Shake it and look for the green light so that you know that it's ready to connect. On your smartphone, ensure you have three apps installed, the Core app, the Garmin Connect app, and this usually requires the Garmin Connect IQ app as well. Make sure they're the latest versions of each. We'll begin by opening the Core app, and we can see that the Core sensor is connected, and I'm going to go into the settings for the Core, scroll down, and look for heart rate monitors. I pair a heart rate monitor directly to the Core sensor. This is important for sporting activity for a high level of accuracy, so ensure you have a heart rate monitor paired directly. Once it, this is done, then you can close the core app. The next step is to open up the Garmin Connect app. Click away all the banners and make sure you're connected to your Garmin device. I'll click on the Garmin device and to load the core app, I need to go into activities, apps and more. I click on this and then select data fields. I can see that there's nothing installed. At the bottom, it gives me the prompt get more data fields. So I click on this, and then this opens up the Garmin Connect IQ app. So I need to search for core body temp in one word, click on this, and this usually finds the core body temperature monitor data field. This is the one I want. So I click on this, and then I click on install. Click OK. This usually doesn't take very long, and it says install queued. I can click back and this returns me back to the Connect app and usually the core body temperature monitor data field is quickly installed. I'm going to click on this and then go into the settings. This opens up the Connect IQ app again and it's just a brief overview. The core sensor ID that can usually remain as default and that fills itself automatically. Backwards compatibility is not needed. This is just compatibility with certain applications. Hard rate sensor ID can be ignored. The high temperature alert, this can be set, as well as a low temperature alert to provide a Garmin alert. The display options, this can remain by default as zero, but there are some advanced options which are available on our website that you can adjust. I'll click save, okay, and then just return. So I can now go back to the main page. The next step is to add the core sensor data field and I'm looking for my main menu settings and activity profiles. I'll click on this and can see that I've got three activities. I need to add the core sensor data field for each of these on at least one screen, not necessarily the first, but we'll do this with the road activity. I'll select data screens. I'm going to select the first screen and I've got layout and data fields. Select this. On this page, I need to continue, and I can now edit the data fields. I'll select this field, and on the options, I'll scroll all the way down to the Connect IQ. I can now see that Core is available, so I'll select this. The Core Center data may not appear immediately if the Core Center is off. So if you get blanks, don't worry too much. The core sensor should be worn about 10 minutes prior to an activity to make sure that it's ready to go when you start your Garmin. We can now exit this and go all the way back. From the main menu, when I now start my road activity, I can now see that my core data is available and it will also be recorded to my FIT file. On our website, you'll find further information to help you set up your Garmin device with the core sensor. And should you require further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to us.